Well, another big cement deal has been announced. Ambuja Cements is set to acquire close to 47% stake in Orient Cement. The sellers include the current promoter as well as some public shareholders. Now, this acquisition triggers an open offer. That's for around 26% from the public shareholders. The transaction is done at around 8,100 crores at a price of around 395 rupees per share. And Ambuja says the transaction will be fully funded via internal accruals. The deal is done at a valuation of roughly around $114 per tonne. Remember, Orient Cement is also virtually debt-free. But the big question is, how does it help the acquirer? That's Ambuja Cements. Well, it increases their pan-India market share by close to around 2% as they add 8.5 million tonnes of operational capacity and also 8.1 million tonnes of ready-to-execute projects as well. In addition to this, they also get access to high-quality limestone mines in Rajasthan, and that can support an additional 6 million tons of capacity in North India. They also get access to Orient Cement's waste heat recovery system, the renewable energy capacity as well, and that's what will help in cost savings. Now, Ambuja Cement consolidated capacity has scaled up rapidly from around 68 million tons at the time of the takeover, with big acquisitions like Sangi, Pena, and now Orient Cement, all of them getting added to the kitty. And now Adani Cement's consolidated capacity has moved to around 97.5 million tons in this month, and it will gradually move to around 100 million tons by the end of this fiscal. Ambuja Cement has laid out the guidance for Orient Cement. They aim to achieve a bit up a ton of around 1,500 rupees per ton. That's by FI28. They're also targeting 15% ROCE. Well, to wind things down, how does it place and how does it work out for the industry as well as both the parties? It's a win, win, win for all stakeholders. Why do I say that? Ambuja Cements, well, they expand towards their goal of around 140 million tons. So they gradually move towards that. Orient Cement has been struggling to scale up in terms of volumes and profitability. So they get a stronger promoter. And for the industry on the whole, well, consolidation, it works better when you have a fewer number of players with larger capacity. So I say it's a win, win, win for all the parties. The last hour. Anything can happen between the bells. But what happens during the last hour is what matters the most. The biggest market swings. A close-up look at what's driving them. And how the investors are reacting. Watch the most seasoned market mavens guide you through the most important hour of the trading day. NSE Closing Bell. At these times, only on CNBC TV 18 and CNBC TV 18.com. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to CNBC TV 18. Make sure you follow us and stay updated on all our social media platforms.